he's lost. He's alone. And he's three million light years from home. In spring 2002, only in theaters. I'm keeping you. Steven Spielberg's masterpiece <gasps> will come to life. Room, room. For a whole new generation. Experience the mystery. Wait, what is it? I don't know. So scary. The wonder. What's happening? The call. E.T. Phone home. That started it all. With never before seen footage, enhanced special effects, and an all new digitally remastered soundtrack. The Extraordinary 20th Anniversary Edition. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. I'll be right here. Only in theaters, March 2002. Rick, this is a double retro trailer. Wow. It is. Because <laughs> that trailer was for the 2002 release of E.T., which is 20 years ago. 20 years, this man. This film is 40 years old, Rick. 40 that is so years cool. old. Now, that trailer is an interesting trailer for us to do because this is where, yeah, they were trying to get people to get back in and see E.T. that maybe hadn't seen it for the first time. It made a ton of money, a ton of money, Rick. I think it made another 50 or $60 million, which is huge uh, for a film that gets re-released. You know, And yeah. we're going to see that currently right now when cinemas today, I believe, Avatar is being re-released. Um, yes. And so I, I suggest that'll make a ton of money as well. So it's, a, it's not a, a new thing. To it's smart. This. But it's a yeah, smart idea for marketing. Went, but this one is where they CGI'd ET and the backlash Rick was not yeah, great. Not good. They replaced yeah. all the guns from the from their and replaced them with walkie talkies. They did all the yeah. facial stuff. Yeah. Um, which I didn't mind. I thought the facial enhancements on ET worked quite well and, and brought it up to scale. But yeah, some of that, like, oh no, nah, they can't have, can't have guns and stuff in the movie, was just ridiculous to me. But what can you say about an iconic film, Rick? Oh, an look, iconic man, this, film. Everyone knows. Oh, it's ET, and it's great to see that new generation of people come through. I mean, this movie makes you laugh. It makes you cry. It's such a feel-good movie. It makes and, some and, people and still, terrified, like my wife, who refuses to watch this film. Yes. Yes, I am aware of that. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, well, the woman I'm getting no close to known for 30 years never watched ET with her ever. So, which is never, which is interesting. Um, definitely scarred her as a kid. But when I saw this trailer 20 years ago, right? It got me interested enough that I wanted to go see it at the cinema. Did I? No. But you know, it it's a great trailer for nostalgia. It really plays on the nostalgia yeah, of part. Of course, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can't go wrong. And it still holds up today. You can still watch this with your family today. Oh, like, look, it, it, it has the same pantheon as you know, yeah. Wizard of Oz and The Sound of it's Music cool. and Dance. It's like always. it's that kind of level of film yeah. that's almost – it's beyond film. It's almost like this this classic entity. It's part of like mm. pop culture defined. I mean, if you think of films in the 1980s, I mean – E.T. is probably number one or two in your list, isn't it? That films that may pop yeah. into your head. Yeah. You know, if you say Spielberg, what's what's Spielberg's greatest film? Yeah, nine times out of ten people are going to say e. Jurassic e. Park. Right. <laughs> They're going to say Jurassic Park. They're going to say um, no. always. Check that out. No. Google. He made a film but called Always. <laughs> how good. Just bought it. Drew Barrymore was fantastic as as a. As well, they found movie. Drew Barrymore in this. Wasn't That's it? how they so found her. She was, she was absolutely so wonderful. So good. You know? It was glad so they good. could get her out of the nightclubs and that for the scenes. So I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> she was a bit of a troubled. That was a. Yeah. It's a bad joke about her being <laughs> anyway, a troubled child yes. star. But then you know, Not everything movie, worked out yes. for Drew. Drew's fine now, guys. <laughs> She's doing okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, nah, great trailer, <laughs> great film, Rick. What do the guys think? How do they listen? Go, 
Guys, all you need to do is give us a thumbs up for the video. We'd really, really appreciate it. Guys, also, uh, if you'd like, uh, subscribe, follow, share, comment on all our social media platforms. We'd really, really appreciate it, guys. Um, and if you guys are into a podcast, we have a brand new podcast, a weekly podcast, uh, and you guys can catch that on Anchor, Spotify, Podbean, and Apple. So go check that out, guys. We really, really appreciate it. And if you want to check out some merchandise and support myself and Jace, uh, all those links are down below. So go check that out, guys. We really, really appreciate it. Fantastic, guys. We'll see you next time.